Hey everybody, it's Charmel. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with the Selena inspired fringe bangs. So if you want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. So let's get right into it. I am not braiding my hair down for this look because I've been changing my hair and trying a lot of new hairstyles during this quarantine and I just didn't feel like doing it. So I have it in these two uh, little pigtails and I'm just going to pin the loose ends with a bobby pin. This is a great technique also if you don't know how to braid. You can always mold your hair down while it's wet with some gel and you can still get that really flat look. So I'm just taking um, some edge control and I'm going to smooth my edges back so that they're out of the way and then I'm going to apply a stocking cap that's close to my skin tone. So this wig I'm using for this look, I made this back in November, I think, and um, yeah, the density on this wig is just very thin, so I thought it would be the perfect wig for this look because um, when I do fringe bangs, I don't like my bangs super thick, I don't like my units super thick with fringe bangs, so because this wig is already on the thin side, it was the perfect wig to do this look with. And I know it's looking a little crazy. I know you can see the wig cap right now. I'm not going to glue this wig down, but you do not have to glue your wigs down to get nice installs. So I'm going to show you guys how to make this work. So I'm going to start by sectioning off two triangles in the middle of my head for my fringe bang. I've done fringe bang tutorials on my channel before, so I'm pretty much doing the same technique. Um, two triangles on each side and then i'm gonna you know even it all out and pull out that little center piece so that it's perfectly round and now i'm just gonna take my flat irons and flat iron that hair that little section going forward so that i can get the right cut for my bangs So there are several techniques to cutting fringe bangs. I'm going to start by combing that hair downwards. Then I'm going to twist it and drag my fingers down. I'm going to go like past my nose and my upper lip area and I'm just going to cut straight across. So I cut them long because originally I was going for like a longer wispy bang look but it wasn't working. <laughs> So you guys are going to see me play with it for a little bit. Um, I'm going to take my flat irons and kind of bump it to the side. Like, I don't know if y'all can tell what I was going for. But at first, I wanted those, like, long, bumped, wispy, not really fringe bangs, but not, like, layers either. Like, I don't know how to explain it. But I just wanted it kind of long and bumped. But it was not working out. It was too thin. And it was just a mess. So yeah, the first time was a fail, so I'm going to go in and section off a little more hair because the bangs were just extremely thin. Like, I like my bangs thin, but those were a little too thin, so I'm just going to section out a little more hair. And before I cut it more, I'm just taking my slick stick and I'm just kind of molding the rest of my hair out the way and, you know, styling that taking my flat irons just making sure that there's a distinction between like the rest of my hair and my bangs this time when I cut my bangs I'm not going to do the twist technique I'm just going to slide my fingers straight down with all the hair even and then I'm going to cut at an angle first I'm just going in and evening out the rest of that hair 
um, with the original cut pieces and then I'm just going to go in small sections by section and cutting it until I get it to the length that I want. I also like my bangs a little on the longer side so I like them to like hit my eyelids um you can go as long or as short as you want it's a personal preference so yeah i'm just going to keep snipping at them and then bumping it until i get it to the length that i want this can take some time but definitely take your time with cutting bangs because once you cut you can't add back on and so yeah these are like the selena style bangs because she used to wear those really thin kind of wispy bangs and just real bumped <laughs> so that's the look that i ended up going for um and i think i'm pretty good right here i'm just taking my flat irons running them through making sure everything is cool And because I didn't braid my hair and my hair was um, not molded down, I felt like my wig was a little humpy. So I'm just taking my head scarf and I just tied it down to kind of flatten my wig out for a little bit. So I let that sit for about 30 to 45 minutes to flatten out some. And then I'm just gonna go in with my comb and just make sure I comb out any dents um, that were left in my hair from the head scarf. And then I'm just gonna go take some edge control and just gel down my edges and just kind of blend my natural hairline into the wig and just kind of brush it behind my ear and then I'm gonna give my bangs one good last bump and that is it you guys um, so yeah obviously if I would have glued this wig down I could have got an even more flawless install but I think it's a cute simple wig if you don't want to do a lot of work so yeah Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next video.